What we hunting for today, noodles? Hmm? What we looking for today, noodles? We've got little blue tits in here. It's there in the trees, look too. Mum and Dad. And they're going to feed the chicks. There, yeah, got you. Come to feed the chicks. And then a few seconds later, back out again. And five seconds from the garden, we have ready. To the White Haven Pig Nut Sanctuary. But can you make pig nuts? Pig nuts. What can you do to the pig nuts? I mean, how can you make it? Can you bake it? Can you cook it? Can you boil it? Oh, let's make some sauce with pig nuts. Ben. Hmm? Make some sauce. I will make some sauce using pig nuts. <laughs> Spring roll. Fresh spring roll with peanuts. Uh, fresh spring roll with peanuts. Pig nut sauce. Oh. <laughs> I've just stepped in dog shoes. No, it's just Fresh spring roll with pig nuts. Sauce. Um, no. I'm a normal Cumbrian guy with a crazy Filipino wife. Um, we'll take her home and then we'll go and do something sensible like find pig nuts. We're five minutes away from home, we're in the woods and today we're looking for pig nuts. Let's go. We're just through the other side of the garden gate. Uh, we're in the woods now, as you can see. Perfect. And we're going to get some scallops. Uh, from the boats and some fresh cod today, so I think we'll get some pig nuts just to um, accompany them. Ginger noodles! Ginger noodles! It's a beautiful wood, but unfortunately, there's very little in here that's edible. Some wild garlic, pig nuts, uh, elderflower, that's about it really. Hawthorn, no mushrooms at all. We've got some good nettles, fantastic nettles, which we'll use for some uh, nettle beer. But um, we're on the lookout for pig nuts t tonight. And we're looking for small white flowers with carrot like fronds, leaves, little leaves that look like carrot tops. There you go, right away. Pig nut flowers. Um, there you go, more pig nut flowers. And they're everywhere. Now it's pig nut time. It's um, end of May, start of June. So now's the time to uh, get out and forage. For these little hidden gems. There's plenty around. Ginger. See here, look. 
they're everywhere at the moment. But you need to be really careful because they're so delicate. You need to expose the root and then carefully dig around it and lift it up like that. Underneath should be your nut. There you go. See I've dug into that one. But these stems break off so easily. See? That's why you need something to dig them up. I'll take that back and clean it up, but that's quite a big one. There you go. There. There's the uh, the fronds. Flower, easy to identify. Right, okay, let's try here, look. See? White flowers. Carrot-like fronds. Let's see if we can dig this up. Right, so, we'll just clear a little area off there. Don't dig right underneath the stem because you'll disturb the pig nut. Lift the soil like that, gently break it away and see how delicate they just fall off. Here we should have there you go Pig nut. Perfect. And that's as they come out the soil. You know, just will scrape off. And underneath, that's where you've got the white pig nut. This is uh, hedge garlic. Comes up this time of year. Easy to tell. There you go, nice leaf. And if you crush it up. Can't mistake this one. This is uh, this is wild garlic. See? Wild garlic. The uh, flowers are turning to little capers now. You can pick leaves in vinegar. Really good. The leaves, we can use these leaves for anything, they're fantastic. One of the best free ingredients. So basically just a woodland path, there you go, woodland path and right down the side of the woodland path you've got the pig nuts. Look for these little white flowers, follow them down into the base. There you go, there's the stem. There's the stem, but look how easy they come off. They just break off. Dirty dog sniffing poo. What are you doing? Huh? Now there's not many edibles in these woods, but what I found last night are prime ingredient for chefs. Grows on the side of trunks and in mossy ground. This is wood sorrel. 
It's really, really easy to identify because of the um, the leaves. There you go. It's like clover. This focus is shit. There you go. That's the front. There's the back. And it's like a really lemony flavor. Fantastic with fish. Nice in salads. Beautiful as a garnish. And there you go. Wood sorrel. Just grows everywhere on the side of paths. Oi! 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 Come on! We've only had um, two or three days rain in 11 weeks during lockdown, so everything's pretty dry. Still nice and green. Everywhere's green, but the ground's really hard. There you go. The thing. Right there. They're everywhere. Big nuts. There you go. Big nut flowers. We'll dig a few up and then um, we'll fry them up in some butter. Like a topping for the cod. So look for these little white flowers. Then look for these. That's the foliage, this the leaves. Like carrots. There's the root. And just dig there, sock around. Let's have a look. Might be a couple of roots on here. No, nothing. Probably deeper. But you get the uh, you get the idea. Right, let's try. See if we can get this one. Just gently clear a little area away. Soil and sticks and don't dig directly in, just dig around. Yeah. And just gently undo the earth around the pig nut. And you should find somewhere in the roots a nice white nut. In this case, nah, nothing there. So when it comes to uh, cleaning the pig nuts, this is what they come out of the ground like, looking like that. This is what they end up like. That's ready to eat now. If you had a little uh, truffle slicer or something like that, it would shave nicely over pasta or salad. But 
I normally just get them, dip them in water. Skin just comes straight off. I keep meaning to buy um, a truffle slicer. But the pig nuts are only out for a few weeks so it's hardly worth it. We haven't got any truffles. We don't have any truffles here. So yeah, you get the idea. Just cut them rough bits off. If you get a handful of these, they grate nicely over a salad. Got like a nutty, fresh, fresh almond or fresh tree nut flavour. But anyway, there you go. So that is the pig nut. The finished item, the pig nut. Grate it, slice it, use a truffle peeler, have it on pasta, salads. It's really nutty. Nothing much inside. There you go. And somebody very close to me is dying for a piece, aren't you? No. We like them ginger noodles. Yeah, she likes them. Okay, scallops with butter sauce. Okay, put the sauce. Put corn in olive oil. Little bit of sea book thorn. A bit of pine oil. This is an idea I got from Franzen in Stockholm. Some fresh pine shoots. few pickle pine shoots, ginger, shut up, pickle pine shoots, some lime zest, a little bit of lime zest, some homemade XO with ingredients that I've stole off my wife. And finally, finally, we have. Oh, yes. The pig nuts. A little bit of pig nuts on the cod. Freshly picked this morning. In my back garden. How's that?